Heartland series. It's a good two-legged dog story. Their service and sacrifice. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. And finally tonight, 10 News reporter Jim Matheny takes us, uh, shows us a surprise rather, how it's hoofed it to the Tennessee side of the Great Smoky Mountains. Part of my job, I get to stomp around in the woods. What is there not to love about that? Wildlife biologist Joe Yarkovich keeps an eye on the elk in the Great Smoky Mountains. An adult elk in the park can weigh upwards of a thousand pounds. These animals were hunted out of existence a couple of centuries ago, but the park reintroduced them on the North Carolina side in 2001, where they've mostly stayed put until now. Crossed over Clingman's Dome, down on the Tennessee side are two young bulls. People driving along US 441 have taken several pictures of the two elk stretching their legs and their range several miles into Tennessee. It's been 200 years since elk have inhabited this part of Tennessee. So I think having a large creature like that back on the landscape uh, should be a big deal. Now elk from the North Carolina herd have come into Tennessee before. Usually though, it's around Cott County on the I-40 corridor. What makes this sighting so surprising is they literally took the high road. We know that these two bulls crossed over at Clingman's Dome, so they actually chose the highest point to cross over. A bit of a surprise, only because we haven't seen it in the last 17 years. We haven't had any animals go that route. Yarkovich put a GPS collar on one of the elk to track its movement. For the most part, it's hunkered down in the woods between Newfound Gap and the chimney tops, where it's finding lots of food. But two males with no females are not likely to stay put the rest of the year. In which direction they go from here is anybody's guess. I don't think it's a trend we're about to see a whole herd of elk come across the mountain. Wherever they go, Yarkovich says these two bulls are trailblazers for future generations of North Carolina elk to cross over to the volunteer state. You know, those are the first to come the high route over the mountain, but they certainly won't be the last. We've seen elk that have a, an uncanny ability to follow a trail from another elk years after that elk has been there. So even if we don't see any other animals cross over for the next couple of years, the next elk that come across are very likely to travel the same route. It's going to be a wake-up call for the folks working on the Tennessee side that they've got a new critter to deal with. In the Great Smoky Mountains, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Those 1,000-pound critters stick out, too. Yeah. <laughs> the, the park, again, saying stay 50 yards away from any wildlife that you see. Use a telephoto lens if you want to capture a close-up photograph. And a reminder, you can see elk living in East Tennessee live from your home. Earlier this year, TWRA introduced this. It's an elk camera. The live cam is located at the Hatfield Knob viewing area on the North Cumberland Wildlife Management Area. That's in Campbell County. And right now, we see no elk. We do see some yeah. raindrops, though. So uh, that's a perfect way for us to segue to meteorologist Todd Howe.